Hello everybody, welcome to the Wonky Angle where I talk about electronic music, both new and old. And uh, I just got back from uh, DJ Shadow Live. And uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I got a bad headache from all the things people are were smoking in there. I'm glad to be out in the fresh air finally, oh my god. <laughs> now, I did uh, a while ago like have tickets to see Shadow. I bought tickets to see Shadow, but it was like right before the pandemic hit. Uh, so he had to cancel all the tours it was while he was touring Our Pathetic Age. Uh, but um, now uh, he's touring the new album, Action Adventure, and uh, so I guess he's making up for lost time on that. I didn't really know what to expect out of uh, Shadow Live sets, because I mean, there's a lot of different things that uh, Shadow does as an artist. Yeah, obviously he's a DJ, but that entails a lot of things. That's that's him being a, like a turntablist. That's him being like a producer. That's him being a, a literal DJ playing like songs and mashing them up with each other. I didn't really know uh, what was going to be focused on in uh, the uh, Shadow live set. And it turns out the answer is yes. Uh, he, he just does all of those. <laughs> He's obviously mostly playing his own songs. Uh, there was maybe like one or two tracks that weren't his. Uh, also not including uh, a couple that he uh, took from the uh, Uncle Project from the 90s. But yeah, he's like mashing the songs up with each other, like transitioning them into each other, uh, like and having them show up in places you wouldn't expect within tra tracks, within tracks and stuff. Uh, like he's got his own uh, drum beats playing over it. He had like a little electronic drum kit that he could uh, play on. It was really, it was really interesting. It probably won't surprise you to hear that he didn't really pull that much from the early parts of his catalog. Uh, uh, he, he His encore was Organ Donor, but uh, I think that was the only track I heard from introducing. Um, I did get to hear Blood on the Motorway, though. That was great. And he, he pulled out a whole bunch from The Outsider. Like, I heard this time I'm, it's got, I'm gonna try it my way. I heard the one with Q-Tip. Uh, I think it was called Enough and he matched it up with something else. Uh, I think a newer track of his, like Conform or something. I can't remember. <laughs> the vast majority of the tracks he was playing was from Our Pathetic Age. He didn't actually play that much from the new album, believe it or not. Uh, th there were obviously a couple tracks, uh, like Ozone Scraper and You Played Me and some of those others. Uh, well, I got some clips. How about I show you some clips? <laughs>
that's that's uh that's dj shadow live uh i would recommend you uh see uh shadow uh you live yourself if you can uh chances are if you uh go to a different venue other than the one that i was you get to see like the text on the bottom uh which like says the name of each track as they come up i could that at this venue you couldn't see any of that because it was behind the stage that uh shadow was at and he had to apologize for that in the middle of the set at one point <laughs> that was kind of funny i don't really know what else to say then uh shadow live was fun uh i am <laughs> still in the middle of getting over that headache from all the weed smoke and shit and all of that <laughs> and i'm not coherent as, as i often as is often the case with these vlogs so uh i'm gonna i think i'm gonna leave it at that uh that's all for today see you next time